So rule 11, eat less and live long via regular intelligent fasting. Now I could do a whole two-hour seminar on fasting. I present a lot around the world on fasting. I've fasted an enormous amount over the last 25 years. And what I'm talking about is regular intelligent fasting, meaning vegetable juice. So juicing your vegetables, mainly celery and cucumber and, and some greens as well, a bit of carrot and beetroot maybe to give it a flavor, a bit of ginger as well to keep you warm when you're fasting. But it cleans your bowel and removes what I call the 4Ds waste, which is the dead, diseased, dying and decaying cells. They're the ones that cause us the problem. That's generally where the fat deposits the waste. So when you fast, the body literally goes, oh, no fuel. I think I'll eat my stored fuel because body fat is actually just stored fuel. Now, up until the Second World War, we didn't need any stored fuel. Right? We, didn't, we couldn't get any stored fuel because we were constantly in famine. All the cultures around the world always had famine up until the Second World War. We were always running out of food. So fasting was a regular thing that we did. Naturally, it's how we've evolved as human beings. Mother Nature hasn't always provided a three-course meal three times a day throughout history. So what we've always had to do is naturally fast. So we're genetically built on not quite having enough. So what we do is we find throughout history we've had to fast. And now, since the Second World War, of course, what we've got now is an abundance of food and the worst kind of food we've ever had. So it's this really, really destructive mix that we've got, and we're not built for it. What we're built for is occasional fasting. What we're not built for is overeating a meat-heavy, sugar-rich, highly processed, low-fiber diet. That's what kills human beings very effectively from the gut up. So when we look at fasting, what happens is the body stops having food going in, so it goes, oh, I'll start eating my stored fuel. And the liver loves it. The liver goes, yeah, whoa, time to eat that fuel. This is awesome. I can process that waste. So the body starts to eat away at all that fat and reprocess it. So it recycles the proteins, grows new young cells, and burns the fat. It's a phenomenal process from ketosis, ketogenesis, glycosis, lipolysis, the different stages of fasting. It's a phenomenal process to go through. Fasting is just extraordinarily good for the human body. Now, the key thing with fasting is not to think that it's a silver bullet. So I wouldn't relate to fasting like, okay, I'm not going to eat on a Monday, then Tuesday I'm going to eat 18 hamburgers. That's not how you relate to fasting. How you relate to fasting is just another good thing to add to a holistic view on living a long, healthy life. So it's really important. Completely revitalizes your skin and your liver. You want to transform your skin? Regularly fast. Because your liver's in charge of your skin health. And, you, and most of our livers are so pickled and unwell and overweight and seeped in alcohol that they're in a terrible shape. You know, giving your liver a break, it gets to breathe and it gets to release and remove the waste. Put it in the bowel and clean it out of the body. So it's a really good process for your skin and for your longevity. And it rebuilds your immune system. It takes about three days. It's why I fast for three days. I actually fasted for 15 days last week and the week before. In the middle of winter, you know, when it's cold. So you can do it. Once you get good at it, you actually get to know how to do it. Now, I don't recommend anyone here just suddenly fast for 15 days. I don't recommend that. I'm, I've been fasting on and off for a long time, so I'm very good at fasting. And I can just fast and then I know when to start eating. So I'm very instinctual about my fasting. Sometimes I won't fast for a month, and then I'll fast every day and, you know, for a while, and then I'll fast for a week, and then sometimes not for a while. So I just do it as a regular thing. I just wake up, and I know when it's time to fast. But with fasting, it's something you want to build towards. Every one pound of body fat is 3,500 calories. One pound of body fat feeds you for two days. So if you look down right now and go, whoa, I've got 20 pounds, you can literally fast right now, for 40 days, the fuel is right there. You'll be fine. So what happens with fasting is the body starts away, but there's one part of the body that freaks out about fasting. Right? From here down, no problem. <laughs> it's this. Fasting is an emotional choice, and now you have to choose it. Notice throughout history, when there was no food, you'd go, oh, no food. Um, let's see, die or fast? Die or fast? Die, fast. I think I'll fast. You know, that's the, that was the choice. Whereas now we don't have that choice. You literally have to choose fasting now. And it's a very different thing when you have to choose something rather than be forced to do it. And here's the interesting thing with fasting. You notice your emotional addictions to food. You know, we notice at golden rule number four, give up what weakens you. And I talked about we work with people really closely in my 20 golden weeks in this area. Why? Because we're so addicted to food. Imagine if I got upset. Imagine Tracy, my wife, and I had a big argument. We had this big argument. Oh, we're upset over me. I hate your guts. She's like, oh, I hate your guts even more than you hate my guts. We have this big fight. We're really upset. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm so upset. I really feel like a big bowl of celery. <laughs> Is that what we do? No, what do we eat when we're upset? 
Chocolate, right? If you're a woman, <laughs> if you're a woman, it's chocolate and wine. If you're a man, it's beer and meat pie. You know, <laughs> that's what we do because <laughs> we're addicted to the foods and we don't crave the good stuff. You know, if we did, there'd be no problem. So it helps rebuild your immune system. It's why I always fast for a week going into winter. It's one of those reasons I never get sick in winter. Rebuild your immune system in three days. Also helps break food addictions and transforms your emotional strength. If you literally learn how to fast regularly, your relationship with food changes forever. You know, you start, food starts to lose the fact that it completely, you know, has a hold over you. So it's an amazing transformational thing. When I have a recommendation around, you know, what's my golden tip? Buy this book. Right, that's my tip. Why? Because this book's got everything I know about fasting in it. That's why I did this book. So many people ask me about how do you fast? What is it about you that, with fasting? That's why I did this book. So for those that are interested in fasting, I go into great detail in this book. We touch on it a little bit in my 20 Golden Rules, but this book is the Bible.